With over 70 years on the big screen, Batman has been through it all. From leotards to mech suit, let's go through the Dark Knight's cinematic evolution. Batman first appears in the 1943 serial, Batman. He sports a loose spandex suit with hiked up pants and floppy ears, and spends his time fighting a white man in Japanese makeup who accidentally falls into an alligator pit. In the sequel, Batman is taller, the bat emblem is bigger, and his waistband is in a normal position. This time, the cow has a large nose and horn-like ears. He fights a wizard, who in the shocking final turns out to be a valet driver. 1966's Batman wears a gray and purple suit, and his cow has thin ears and a drawn-on frown. He bites a variety of threats, including an exploding shark. This colorful Batman would be gone in 1989, with the introduction of a muscle-plated suit and modified Nike sneakers. Batman wears black makeup, and his cowl now extends to his shoulders, restricting neck movement, which leads to the patented bat turn. But that doesn't stop him from defeating the Joker. In Batman Returns, the suit is slimmer, sleeker, and Air Jordans replace the Nike boots. He still wears makeup, except when he reveals his face to Catwoman. In Batman Forever, Batman wears a more anatomical suit, featuring bat nipples, and ditches the sneakers for real boots. When this suit is destroyed by the Riddler, Batman changes into a lighter, more streamlined sonar suit, with no nipples. The anatomical plating and patented nipples make a return with a more bluish tone in Batman and Robin. Later on, a nipple-free Arctic suit is worn to fight Mr. Freeze. In the gritty franchise reboot, Batman Begins, Batman trains as a ninja and later dons a military-inspired bat suit with ninja gauntlets and a cow with curved ears. His mission is to stop his ex-ninja friends from poisoning Gotham City. The Dark Knight introduces a revamped suit with a more tactical appearance, including new armor, flexible neck movement, built-in sonar, projectile gauntlet blades, and a retractable cape. Although he manages to defeat two villains, the film ends with Batman retiring from crime fighting. That is, until he comes back in The Dark Knight Rises, wearing the same suit. Despite being badly injured, he saves Gotham from a giant bomb and promptly returns to his retirement. Batman is again rebooted with Batman vs Superman, in which he's bulkier, taller, and wears a mostly gray form-fitting suit with a large bat emblem and tiny bat ears. He also dons desert attire for a dream sequence and a heavily armored mech suit to fight Superman. This Batman also makes an appearance in Suicide Squad. Uh, for some reason. In the Justice League, Batman's suit is a darker gray, featuring additional armored plating and an upgraded cowl. Tactical armor and goggles are later added to the outfit to help him fight parademons. And of course, we can't forget Lego Batman in all his glory.